All right, so here we are. I'm with Nate. He got here yesterday, which was the 26th of June at 7 a.m. from Australia after a 14 hour flight with no sleep. And we'll this right video, back. this video log or this vlog is supposed to be for yesterday, but we both passed out really hard last night. And so, we're, so this is all from yesterday, even though today is the 27th. So thinking of yesterday, got off the plane and here's prompt number one. What'd you have for brekkie? Well, on the flight, we had a frittata with some beans, black beans. Well, the, the flight doesn't count because that's not where the vlog, the vlog begins from when you landed. Oh, okay. So, so, so. I picked you up at 7.05 and then, then the vlog begins. Okay, so we had eggs, scrambled eggs, which dad made on, um, sourdough which we bought for one dollar really cheap it's good we toasted it then we put the egg, eggs on and i put way too much sriracha on my lips burnt for like two minutes and yeah that's, that's what we have for breakfast and where, where, did, where did we have that at mary lee's house mary ellen Ma mary ellen mary ellen's house and she had two animals they were monster was the cat and Oh gosh, the dog. What, what kind it? of dog was it? It was a Chihuahua. A Chihuahua. Her name was Paloma. Paloma. Okay. So that's question one. And Paloma was really nippy and dappy and old. He's old yeah, and grumpy. Okay, question two. From the whole day, because we did other stuff, what was your favorite moment of the day? Ooh. That would probably be... Oh gosh, that's hard. Ah, yeah. Playing with Leo. Oh, there you go. Okay. And tell everyone who Leo is. Leo is Tom and Karen, one of Dad's work friends and his wife's baby. He's almost a year old. His birthday is July 4th, which in America is... Very important. Very important. Okay. Independence Day. Independence Day, yeah. Okay, so question three. So remember, this is for yesterday. So what did you know, what do you know today, being yesterday, that you didn't know yesterday, being two days ago? Oh God. What'd you, what, so what'd you learn new yesterday? One thing, it doesn't have um, to be everything, just one. Wow. I learned that, well, that's a hard blood. Mm-hmm. I suppose I actually learned a couple of American sayings. But I also learned that Australian vocabulary in America is really complicated. So that's good. Okay. Here is question number four. And again, this is for yesterday. What was the most difficult moment of the day? Um, Staying awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to answer for you. Staying about. awake. Staying awake because you fell asleep a bunch of times. If yeah. I get, if I get better at um, video editing... I'll put, I took about five photos of you sleeping in different places, so I'll, I'll get those into the video. We'll try. Okay. Um, this should be really easy. Uh, fifth question or fifth prompt. Was anyone kind to you today? Yes. Uh, the flight attendants were really nice to me. Um, they joked with me a lot. Yeah. Um, Who else? The... Dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I hope uh, I'm nice to you. Yeah. Mary Ellen was really nice. Yeah, she was nice. And Tom and Karen were nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, prompt number six. Was anyone negative today, being yesterday? Um. And if you forget, that's a good thing, because that just means it didn't really affect you, right? Because I'm trying to think. I'm trying to answer these questions in my head as well. And, um... I can't think of anyone. Can you? Well, I mean, there was this one person at the airport. They weren't that nice, but they, they were, I only had to do one thing with them. Other than that, nobody. I forget yeah. their name. It's a good name. Uh, here's one of my favorite prompts. It's number seven. Were you brave today? And if so, in what way? Well, I suppose I was brave when I got on the flight, on the flight to... 
America that's all a, by myself. That's that's a big deal for an 11 year old to go. What was it 14 hours? Uh, yeah, 13. 13. Okay. Uh, okay, number eight. This will be more relevant as we go further into the trip because we'll be talking a lot about this. But um, what's today's new science fact for the people out there? So you know the book I bought. Yeah. We'll be reading that a lot, but yesterday was not a regular first day. So, um, yeah. was there any new science fact you learned yesterday that well, you can remember? Uh, one of we them, did read the book, didn't we? I did, That's yeah. That's right. Um, so, some some types of grass actually don't let out seeds that other plants fertilize. They actually make they actually put out little feelers into the ground, like roots, which are then counted as sexual. Which is then counted as sexual mating. Oh, I d- forgot that. Yeah, I, I forget what kind of grass that is. Yeah, okay. And the last prompt that I have, I think I'm already thinking of more or different ones to change these, but that's the whole idea. This is a work in project. We have, I think, 20 of these, and this is vlog number one. Um, so, pretending again that it's yesterday, what do you want to do tomorrow being today, and what are your goals for the day? Well, I want to hit a bullseye in archery. Okay, because we're going to do archery. Yep. Um, I actually want to get on a double double decker bus. Oh, okay. We hadn't talked about that. You wanted a um, a bagel, I which a bag- we've already done. So yeah, now no, yeah, you can't give that up. But yeah, because yep, I'll ask you done. that tonight. What you had for breakfast? Yeah. But then we'll be all caught up and we'll be good. Yeah. Today's just a one-off. Okay. Um. Let's see what else. Not fall asleep. <laughs> that, that, is, that, that was actually something that I was thinking about yeah. all night. I was like, I don't want to fall asleep tomorrow. I want to have a real day with none of that falling asleep stuff. I guess that I fell asleep in the car three times. And Dad had to slap me to get me awake. Not actually slap me, but... Tickle your feet and... <laughs> Leo tried to help me by poking you in the eye. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Tell you what, Leo kept me awake. All right, so a bullseye in archery. That's your goal for quote unquote tomorrow which is actually today yeah okay well that was great first day vlogging you want to say anything to people oh i'll put that down number 10 yep what do you want to so this is new what do you want to say to your peeps and family in oz did you know that if the height of a step is off by as little as two centimeters if people are used to it a lot they will actually trip that's great that's what you want well most people All right, so sign off. See ya.